Edward is a farmer in Norfolk. He has a broadband service in his farmhouse, but would like to make this service available in the farm office about 150 metres away. When Edward called Solwise, he mentioned that as well as connecting his farm office computer to the internet, he wanted to provide a Wi-Fi service to portable devices in the office. We suggested a data link based around a pair of ingenious ENS202 outdoor access points. A low-cost ingenious ESR1221N was used to provide Wi-Fi in the office. The ENS202 is a self-contained outdoor access point and directional antenna with a variety of operating modes. For this application, the ENS202 was mounted directly onto the outside wall of the house. A single Category 5 Ethernet cable connected the ENS202 unit to the source of the internet signal. Although Solwise can provide pre-assembled cables for this purpose, it is far more common to use loose cables and then fit the connectors on site. Without the connectors, a smaller hole can be used when passing the cable through the wall. The connector was attached once the cable had been passed through to the other side of the wall. Power for the ENS202 was sent through the Ethernet cable using a power over Ethernet injector. This meant that only one cable was needed to run up to the device. An additional Ethernet patch lead was used to connect the outdoor unit to the indoor access point. The end point of the data link was set up exactly the same as the starting point. The second ENS202 was mounted within line of sight of the first unit and was connected to its power supply with a PoE injector. In order to provide the Wi-Fi service to the farm office, the ingenious ESR1221N was connected to the end of the data link using one of its four LAN ports. A second LAN port connected to the office computer. The configuration for the ingenious devices was done through a browser interface on the computer, such as Internet Explorer, Safari or Chrome. Edward was only using the ESR1221N in its basic access point mode, so it was therefore necessary to disable the device routing function. Edward was also able to configure the data link to provide Wi-Fi in the space between the two buildings, although he could have opted to make this part of the chain secure and private had he preferred. By doing the installation himself rather than using a local network installer, Edward feels he has gained some insight into how it all works as well as saving himself some money.